Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to analyze and design a continuous beam and for the different types of loads. So first open stat pro. This is the picture of continuous beam. You can see there are different kind of force, UTL, linear varying. Okay concentrate load concentrate moment so click on new project click on plane give a name and location choose meter and kilometer then click on next click on add beam and then finish create a node first and switch off the snap node go to front view select the node by node cursor now you have to create the beams first or member it is two first is three meter second three meter then it is five meter three point five and four meter you just create the member first copy the node by control c from your keyboard and paste the node for control v in the x direction it is three meter and click on enter Select the node again, copy the node from your keyboard, Ctrl C, paste the node, Ctrl V in the X direction, again 3 meter, then click on OK. Select the last node, copy the node, Ctrl C, paste the node, Ctrl V in the X direction, 5 meter. OK. Again select the last node, copy the node, paste the node in the X direction, 3.5 then ok select the last node ctrl c from your keyboard ctrl v for pasting the node in the x direction 4 then click on ok now all the nodes are created and we are going to select add the node by add beam click on add beams yes add the nodes Now the member is fixed on each side. Okay. Now go to support page. Go to create and add fixed. You can add pin fixed part enforcement as your requirement. I'm going to go for fixed. Click on add. Okay. Select the support. Select the nodes and click on assign to selected nodes then click on assign then yes ok then give a property go to define you can choose any property circular rectangular t i am going to give rectangular give a property 0.6 by 0.6 then click on add then close and go to assign it to the whole structure or whole property or a whole member so i'm going to give go, go for assign to view assign yes and we are going to assign the whole structure okay now go to the load page give loading click on load case detail click on add the loads are dead load click on dead then click on add then close it then click on uh, load case one the dead load then click on add and go for member load and you can see different type of force here okay now for the fast load it is a triangular force so we go for the linear varying and you see the loads the loads is on the top is 12 km per meter in the y direction so it will be minus 12 km so give minus 12 km w3 it is a load then click on add now for the second it is trapezoidal so we go for this force okay first one w1 is smaller one is 4 km and w2 
total is 700 meter click on the force double one is minus 4 and it is minus 7 then click on add okay. now for the third member there is a concentrated load concentrated moment here okay in the negative direction and it is a positive direction so go to the concentrated moment p1 the value is 15 kN for the minus direction for minus direction it is minus 15 kN okay and the t1 distance is 3.5 for the member d2 is 0 and d1 is 3.5 so give the value minus 15 kN d1 is 3.5 okay and it will works on the z direction then click on add for this considered moment the force is 10 kN the moment is 10 kN and the t1 distance is from this from the mem for this member is 1.5 and d2 is 0 okay so and it is positive on the positive direction so give 10 kN positive the t1 distance is 1.5 okay in, in also work in the z direction then click on add okay now for the udl okay now we go for uniform force for this member w1 is equal to minus 26 kN and the d1 distance will be the start for the udl and the start is 3.5 meter for this member 0 to 3.5 3.5 is the start and d2 is the last end point of the force and that is 5 meter okay and d3 is the first point it is 0 so give the loads and the value w1 is minus 6 minus 26 kilometer per meter d1 will be 3.5 as for the start from the utl and d2 is 5 kilo 5 meter for the end for the end of the udl is the value minus 26 t1 is 3.5 and d2 is 5 then click on add for the second the value is same and the distance is different for that d1 will be 0 as the start of the udl is 0 d3 is also 0 and d2 is end of the udl that is 1.5 okay so change the value 0 d2 is 1.5 and it is same then click on add now for the concentrated force 20 kN go to concentrated force P is minus 20 kN d1 is 0 d2 is 0 for the create on select on the nodes only okay. the nodes only then click on add and for the linear heading we we'll go to linear heading and we'll go for the this kind of force the bigger one is 10 kN so the start one w1 one is 10 kN and the last one is 0 so give minus 10 and it will be 0 then click on add then close it now to assign the loads first select the member select the load and click on assign the selected pins assign yes okay we selected two member at the same time so change it I have to change the load delete it and just add the force again go to member load go to linear heading and go to the W3 that is forces minus 12 kN minus 12 till key 1 add close.
Hang on. For the first member, it is linear bearing, then click on assign the selected beams, assign, yes. Okay. For the second one, then go for this, the statistical force, click on assign the selected beams, assign, yes. For the third one, it is a moment, considered moment, then click on assign the selected beams, assign, yes. For the third one, it is moment, click on assign the selected beams, assign, yes. I'm not gonna see the value because the scale is too small, so I'm gonna increase the scale, apply immediately, increase the point moment. Mm. Now you see the how it small reacts in the member. Okay. Now for the UDL for the uh, for this member, click on this member, click on the UDL, then click on assign to selected beams, assign yes. For that member, fourth member, click on the member, select the loads, click on assign to selected beams, assign yes. For concentrated moment, select the node and click on assign. Use as use cursor to assign the assign. Then select the node. This will apply on the. It will be zero and D two is. Zero change, and you see the differences. Okay, you have to give the value d1 and d2 as the it is on the zero zero. Okay, you can change the loads or di dimension by cl double click on the loads. Okay, now for the last one, select the member, click on assign to uh, select the load. Click on assign to beams, assign yes. Now you compare the image. See this trapezoidal, this triangle, this trapezoidal, this moment. This is on the negative direction, this is in the positive direction. See in the positive and in negative. The UDL and concentrated force and the linear value. Okay, now you have to analyze it. So go to comments, analyze, perform analyze, ok, analyze, run analyze, save. Ok, so there is no error, no warning. So we have done the right things. Ok, so click on done and go to the post processing, click on ok. You can see the actual force. Okay. You can see the shear force. You can see shear force on Z direction. Torsion. You can go to the result view value beam result maximum. Okay, then click on annotate. Okay. So this is how 
you can analyze and design a continuous beam with different kind of load okay so that's it and thank you for watching my video